Okay, we just set up a catch hive, a catch box for our bees. They apparently decided to swarm. <clears throat> and you can see how they're all going in. So Carrie noticed from the upstairs window that uh, there's a bunch of bees swarming over here. So we came out here and they were all on the ground. I didn't have time to grab the phone. So we brought out a cardboard box with some frames in it that bees have lived in previously and uh, I was able to spot the queen so we added the queen into the box. And all of her workers are following her in. So hopefully in a few minutes here all the bees will be in the box and we can relocate them. Okay, we just uh, caught these bees across the street over here. They swarmed out of my other hive, I think. So we just Not put out sure. a box for them and they uh, have now gone into our box. We definitely have the queen in there. So we'd be perfectly fine leaving them in here with their queen and they could just build comb, but we're, we decided we'd rather have them inside the top bar so we can look at them through our observation windows. Really great for the kids. And be able to see them up close and personal. Can you take more at a time? Yeah, like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. you Very see good. Pain? Very good. Just take it. Yep. And then I'm gonna just shake them in there. Good. Good. I never said I was graceful. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully the queen went with that bunch. So you got a video down here. Can you yep, see them in here? Yeah, your kind. Yeah, I'm mean, right above a bunch of bees here, so I'm gonna... Yeah, they won't bother you. Oh, okay. So you see they're in there, so we're gonna cover them up quickly. And hopefully they will live in here and make comb. Okay, wait, what about the rest of these guys? I'm not gonna worry about them right now. Oh, okay. Wherever the queen is, is where all the bees go. And what makes you think the queen isn't in this little cluster? Uh, we're gonna find out. We're definitely gonna find out. So because most of the bees are going that way, we assume she's in there? Yeah, well I just poured most of the bees in there, so hopefully. If you want, I can just take these and dump them in. So we can... mm -hmm. Oh no. put all the litter from our previous escapades catching these bees. So they're gonna have to sort out how to go home. We did it. So that smell of banana, do you smell it? No. Okay, well is it, there somebody stung somewhere and made Jesus a Christ. made a venom stink. This one I'm just kidding, but he is extremely sensitive to bee venom smell. Yeah, because I get stung a lot. He has allergic reactions. I know I'm getting stung before it's even happened. Yep. I can smell it coming. <laughs> I just want to leave a gap here so that they have an easier time getting in here. No, you don't Not think they're able to mm -hmm. use the entrance? It looks like they are. Yeah. They're using the entrance. I would okay. just... Call it good. So Call it all good. of these bars here will have combs on them one by one. The bees will build natural comb and they can do like 30 plus combs. <clears throat> it's all natural, no frames. Mm -hmm. And all of this. Should, should I take more pictures? <laughs> it took a lot of video though. Did you stop it? So now we're checking after a few minutes and you can see all the bees are fanning. And they're basically telling all of the other bees, this is our home, come live here. And they're fanning their butts, basically emitting a, a smell that uh, other members of the colony will recognize. Got our other older colony, which is the one I think that this colony swarmed from. 
the time of the year for that kind of activity. 